We now know how much the first high fidelity A320 for Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to cost because Phoenix has revealed the pricing and a few more details about its new A320. Hello, everybody. It's Hotch Mania, and today I've got a look at some what I'm going to call breaking news as of the recording of this video anyway, and that is Phoenix, who's producing the A320 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, has revealed the new pricing and given us a little bit of a preview of what to expect. Now, I'm going to start off with the most important things. You all want to know how much is this going to cost? And what's interesting is Phoenix is coming in at a price that I think is going to be a surprise for a lot of people. And that is the new aircraft, the new A320 is going to cost 49.99 pounds. And of course, uh, in US dollars, if my math is correct, you're looking at probably about 62 US dollars as it stands right now, which is pretty exciting because this is being billed as truly one of the best aircraft, high fidelity, full systems coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, not take anything away from the fly-by-wire A320neo. Love that plane, but of course, that's the A320neo. This is an A320. But let's dig into the details here because Phoenix revealed a lot of information about its upcoming new aircraft. They have not released a release date yet. Before you write in the comments, when's it coming out? We don't know yet. But they really wanted to paint a picture of how high fidelity this is aircraft is in terms of the immersion and functionality that's going to have there as an example not only are they adding sim brief integration not only adding an efb so that way you can have a lot easier time of loading things in and simulating ground ops but also you're going to be able to replicate airline operations and also send messages to your op center about diversions and also real-time boarding now of course phoenix says that if you don't want to do these things you don't have to do these things that'll be an option within the efb in order to disable it, but you're going to have flap shake, a fully modeled proper cabin. So that way you can actually walk through the cabin, see everything that's there over 180 liveries coming with it. And you're also going to have lots of failure modeling to ensure that it's all there. The idea behind this plane is that Phoenix really wants to make sure when you get it, it is what, and I hate to use this term, it's going to be study level. And I hate that term because I don't think any airplane is truly study level in any simulator that is a mass market video game that we can all fly. I know it's a simulator, not a video game, but I'm just saying there's no uh, study level is a, is an abstract concept in my opinion, but that's a whole different uh, debate for a, a different video. The point is, is they really want to make sure the systems and flight modeling has been exactly what they want it. Now, what's really interesting about this also, again, this leads back to when will this come out? Cause all this excitement is getting a lot of people excited, obviously is that the title of the update that Phoenix put out here is, quote, the end of a beta. And what's interesting about this is that they're looking at this as an opportunity for this to move out from the beta stage and quickly move into, you know, the next phase, which I think is going to be marketing slash hype slash whatever you want to call it right there. But now going back to the price, they did say that the price, they wanted to make sure it was more affordable than that. Quote, we're believers that the market is larger. We're believers that one needn't pay hundreds of pounds to experience the care and attention to be put into high fidelity aircraft. So we're putting our money where our mouth is. It's a risk, but we think it'll pay off. End quote. So this is an interesting thing. And there's a lot of, I think, comments that are a little in this. By the way, all this update is coming in a blog post that Phoenix put out there. It seems like there's a few jabs, if you will, snide remarks towards perhaps PMDG, who recently put out their 737. That's your choice whether or not you think they're uh, making a comment at their regard there was one other thing they added which was a quick very very short video that shows the caging of the a320 and again this is to show you the fidelity that this isn't just you know lipstick on a pig and they just made everything look pretty this is just how in detailed this particular aircraft is and it's pretty darn exciting because the idea is you're going to have really one of the highest fidelity aircraft out there. Now, no release date was shared again, but quote, consider launch marketing kicked off now, end quote, is what they wrote in the blog post, which basically means that they're going to start hyping this up with the idea that at some point soon, it's going to be released. Now, don't forget, it was only a couple days ago that Phoenix put out there the statement that the aircraft will be released in a matter of days, not months or longer. So, you know, it's anyone's guess, but let me know in the comments below what you think of this new aircraft and will you be buying it? Are you excited for it? Are you hyped about it already? I think the hype is only beginning now, but this is pretty exciting for a lot of people who absolutely love Airbuses. And we talked about the 737, but this is a whole different ball game in between the 737 and now the A320. 
perhaps we're going to have some really compelling choices for people who've been sitting on the sidelines as it relates to Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Hodge Mania. We'll talk again real soon.